Good day, people of God. My name is Rifilwe. Uh, I'm from Alberton. The reason why I came here to Cheris was to get a deliverance. I booked my one-on-one -on -one because I was having too many challenges. I could not sleep at night. I was feeling um, oppression. I was feeling like something is trying to stop me from breathing. Um, even the dream that I was having, uh, they were not nice. Um, so when I started reading about it, you know, about the type of dreams that I was having, I discovered that it is the spirit of death. So that's when I thought I need to now stand up and, and seek help. So I came to, to church and when I came to church, men of God prophesied to me that there is something uh, in my heart is trying to, to kill me. Um, and I can confirm that the prophecy is true because every night I would feel like my heart wants to stop and I would, I would decide not to sleep. I would try not to sleep because I was scared that I would die. As I already knew that there was a spirit of, of death uh, attacking me. And then men of God said that uh, the reason for the attacks is because of generational cases. Sometimes, you know, there's things that our ancestors were doing that we don't know about. Um, and now they pass those things on to us. And if we don't agree to those things, they, they attack us. Um, but I'm, 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 I'm thankful. I, I, I praise God for my deliverance. I am free and I know that when I sleep from tonight, there will be no oppression, there will be no terror at night, and I'm just thankful to, to Jesus Christ for his faithfulness. You know, he says that if we seek him, if we come to him and pray to him, he will hear us. He is our savior, he is our deliverer. So I thank God for, for today. Um, you know, the Bible says that you know, all things work for good for those who trust in the Lord. The moment that I started getting that text, I actually went deeper into prayer and uh, deeper entering the scripture. And as I was manifesting, the spirit did say that, you know, it is not able to kill me because I am busy praying, praying. So I think it is important, um, as children of God, to know that when attacks come, we should actually go closer to God, instead of thinking that maybe we should now go see a Sangoma because these things that we're seeing um, are, are strange. You know, we've never had dreams like this, and you're thinking, maybe rather go seek a help from a sang or something like that draw closer to god he will reveal um to you what is happening and he will deliver you so if you can't sleep at night if you feel terror uh, at night and you can feel that the spirits that are taking you go to god he will expose them and he will deliver you from every spirit there is there's nothing too big for god so uh, every child of god must know that if you challenge you have challenges no matter what challenges are seek the word seek um, the Holy Spirit seek God, He will deliver you. He's, he's faithful. I feel relaxed now. I think, you know, I think the devil uses the spirit of fear more than anything to torment the children of God. Because if, if you're worried every day that I might die, I might die, I might die, that's exactly what's going to happen if you entertain those thoughts. So today I feel free because, you know, the, 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 the spirit has been exposed. You know, it, 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 I know what was tormenting me it really is a spirit of death so i know that if the man of god can identify it and say you spirit of death you must leave then indeed it must leave because it must bow to the name of jesus christ so i feel free I, I feel that i've got nothing to worry about now no fear no terror no nightmares for me anymore in jesus name um greetings charity reviewers um i just want to encourage the children of god to know that if you having challenges and you feel that you need um, a higher power, don't be scared to book one-on-one -on -one, uh, with men of God because uh, God has appointed uh, prophets for us that can expose what is happening in our lives, that can help us uh, with prayers. So if there is something that you feel that is beyond you, that is a heavy burden. Uh, I encourage the children of God to, to book one-on-one -on -one so that they can get um, a direct um, and specific prophecy so that you, you know what exactly is challenging you. You know, sometimes as Christians, we think that once you receive Christ Jesus as your savior, then that's it, um, it you know, you're free, it's done. But the truth is that um, the devil is, gonna, is going to attack you even more when you become a child of God. And there's things that are following us that we don't know of, you know, generational cases that are following us 
that want to derail us, that want to destroy the plan that God has um, over our lives. So it's important that even though you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, you must still get deliverance because there's things, there's family altars that we don't know about that our ancestors erected long time ago that are now, you know, allowing curses to follow us, that are now blocking blessings um, from coming. So if anyone is feeling challenged and they're wondering why am I not getting breakthroughs, why am I still getting sick, why am I not getting married or whatever, changes are there's a generational curse that is following you and I would advise children of God to come and get their deliverance so that they can enjoy their salvation fully in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we decided to develop soccer now, so it's gym normal. Alright, so this they know us too much. You demon. You demon. You demon. You demon. What are you doing here? Huh? You are saying what? I must leave you. Huh? I must leave you. Who are you? I want to kill this man. You want to kill it? Why do you want to kill it? I just want to kill it. You want to kill it? Who are you? I was telling you about. I was telling you exactly what she said. What I was telling you. So I saw ropes. It's a person who had ropes. You know, there's some more. I'm going to send some more. Yeah? I'm going to send some more. 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 I'm going to send so you're a grandmother. Yeah, you are not fighting flesh and blood here. So now you must leave a marriage. Eh? Oh, you hear me? You demon. Leave a marriage now. Leave. Name of Jesus. <laughs> Leave. So you wanted to be a sangoba? Huh? You wanted to be a sangoba? You wanted to be a sangoba? Anyaki. But you wanted to be a sangoba? Now take these things, you give them to someone else. Alright, come on. Jesus. Jesus, mate. She's free. You're free, mama. 